Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So last month we got quite a bit of work done. We got our corn side dressed. We got all our fertilizer applied, spraying done. So we're in the month of June now. As you can see, it's been raining. It's been raining all morning so far. Um, we don't have a whole lot of tasks to get done today. At least not too many major ones. The only major one I was looking at this morning is that the bean prices are finally about right for where we need to start sell getting those out of the bins and selling those. So we're going to work on that this morning here. And we're, I'm hoping by towards the afternoon we'll be able to get out and finish spraying because the bean field we drilled into, we're going to spray some. We got some weeds to spray down over there, so we're going to be working on that later today. And I'm hoping that at, we actually have uh, enough money by the time we sell these beans to pick up our next plot of land. And I... I think we should. Oh. I think we should be able to squeeze in between here. Oh, yeah. That's not that tight there, so. And I think the other thing we're going to do today as well as after we get... Oh, after we get our... Oh. Get all our beans offloaded, we'll probably... We'll probably end up heading over and getting... I'll uh, oh, get some of our silage sold today, so we're going to work on that here. Turn on the lights, at least. A little doom and gloom yet this morning oh and then we'll get the jumper auger here moved oh. I always forget the controls are a little bit reversed on here compared to the normal auger we'll have to grab the 4020 here and get that hooked up but I th I'm still sitting here so I know I've been talking about what I want to do for sprayer options and I'm still th thinking about it yet I think we might not do like the the normal, like, oh, actually, I want to reposition that so we don't drive, have to drive on the grass too much. Move that up a little more. I think we need, I think that should be about high enough to reach the trailer. There we go. I think that should be good. But anyways, I think what I want, want to do ultimately is that I think we're going to invest into a self-propelled sprayer. I just, oh, I'm planning to get one with where we can get the Isara Pro Compact on it. So that way we can fertilize our crop that the way we want to. And I'm trying to decide if we're going to, I might see if I could find another option for self-propelled sprayers. Because this one would be nice, but the, with the limes, with the fer dry fertilizer box on it, I don't think we'll ever really use that. Like, honestly, I wish this... I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Jan. I'm pretty sure it's a German brand. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I would I would really like to use this one for the farm, but just the fact that we can't get the all the crop sensors on it is what's deteriorating me from doing that right now. So I'm going to spend the next... In between the next couple episodes, I'm going to spend some time looking for a different style self-propelled. I mean, the other option I could get is probably that case one. I think the Trident series, I think it's called. Oh, where is it? I think that's got the... Yeah, that's got the... the uh, add-on for it, but I just don't really want to spend that much money on a sprayer and go that big that fast, like... Because I think... Yeah, that's a 40. That's a big boom. That's... I'm guessing that's a 120 foot boom. Yeah, I'm a, I think that's about a 120 foot boom. And I feel like that's way. That'd be a, quite a big jump for our farm, and I, I wouldn't like to. I'd like to. I obviously I like a bigger boom, but I don't think we need to jump that big, big in size, so to speak. But that's kind of my temporary plan right now. And right now, the other thing I was thinking is that, oh. What was the other thing I was thinking? Is that if we get that sprayer, we'll be able to sell off the side dresser and we probably wouldn't need have a need for to have as many tractors or we'd be able to upgrade upgrade at least one of them, so to speak. To something a little bigger. Like we could we could probably get rid of that seventy eight hundred even though we just got it. If we ended up getting 
getting rid of the sprayer because the real reason I bought that 78 was just to run that crop sensor on the front of it, to be honest with you. And we could just always use the Kubota as more of the main manure hauling tractor and stuff like that now. But it's kind of one of those situations I'm still figuring out yet. And like I said, I just haven't found the right sprayer mod that I'm looking for for the, for the farm. I know I know that there was recently, I saw on Facebook, I can't remember the modder's, the modder's name now off the top of my head, but he released a, I think it's a fast brand one. And he, he kind of released it prematurely just because it seemed like someone someone else really pretty much released it for him. So he didn't, it sounded like he didn't get as much work done as he wanted, which is unfortunate because it sounded like he was going to add a bunch of other features to it that I actually would have enjoyed. So I guess just where I'm kind of going with it, this little bit of rant is just like, be sure to respect the modders out there, especially especially since it's their their project, so to speak. Just let, let them release it on their own accord. I know a lot of people get overexcited and such. Even I, I even, even I'm guilty of that, but we... We gotta be patient because they they do put a lot of love and time in there into this game, especially since they're taking all that time to work out all the issues and bugs and bring in other styles of equipment that we probably would never see. So that's just my food of thought for that portion. But right now, I think what we got planned for the day is we're gonna we're gonna get all these beans hauled in today, and I'm trying to think, and then we're gonna start getting silage sold, and then I think we're gonna head over. Because I, I think next month is when we're going to start selling off our furniture. So I might I might get this truck prematurely, lo get the flatbed prematurely loaded for it. Oh, try and remember. Nope. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I still got that. I got the non-teleporting non mod, mod on. I can't remember the key to switch tip. Okay. There we go. Can't remember the hot key to switch the... Switch between the hoppers, so to speak. Oh. There it goes. Okay. I was like... Whoop. It's doing the dump in action. Oh. Gosh, I... You can tell it's been a little bit since I last played. I'm losing my mind right now. Up, oh, and I did it again. Can I? Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm slowly losing my mind t today already, so. It's gonna it's gonna be one of those sessions I feel like, but we're we're gonna jump into the time lapse here finally. We're gonna to try to get as much as we can done, and hopefully the rain will let up at, to the point where we'll be able to start spraying. So we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone, I think this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. Uh, we got quite a bit done today. I decided I wanted to get the ground, buy the new piece of ground, and start etching it out. I don't think we'll be going too hard at getting it all done yet. Um, we got a lot of things I'm, that we will have to start worrying about getting done. I just wanted to get at least get most of the trees cleaned up, and then in our downtime, I figure we can go out there and finish getting the new fields put in. Uh, right now, I'm leaning towards... Oh, what am I leaning towards? Um, I think next month we'll be actually... Let's look here, actually. I think next month we'll be re getting ready for a canola harvest, won't we? Almost certain we will be. Oh, where's the time frame? Yeah, we'll actually be getting ready to do a canola harvest next month, so... We'll... Not canola. Is it sorghum? Yeah, sorghum is what I planned. We're... Oh, no, we got we got another month yet before the sorghum will be ready. The next year, I think we might plant. Oh, OK, I've got kind of losing track, so we'll we'll have we'll have sorghum next month and then we'll be able to plant canola for next year. Getting my, all my series mixed up right now, but we'll be kind of the, the next month. Let me ref start over again now that I got my. Oh, 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 how did that happen? I could have sworn I had everything banded. Or strapped down. Good thing I wasn't driving too crazy. It could have been a lot worse. But we're just gonna do that for now to cheat, just cuz. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So next month, I think we might head up there with our hay bind and cut all the grass on the other side of the field that we haven't etched out yet and get that tethered and rake. So that way, we got enough hay. I know next month we'll have to worry about getting the cattle fed as well. I think the TMR rations... I think it's about... Oh... Every... Every month or two we'll have to start really worrying about that. Because they're start... They are starting to go through the TMR quite, quite a bit faster than it was when we first started. But we also pretty much doubled our herd side since we first started as well. Um, I'm going to take these logs over to timber time. We're just going to hopefully be able to pull right next to it and not have to worry about getting too super close here. Hopefully that's close enough. We'll make it work. There we go. Get this last chunk thrown in here and they can have that as well. Well, timber time will be set for a while. Um, I think what I'm going to do before we head back tonight with the semi, I think we'll obviously we're going to unload the Oliver here, but we're gonna probably load up all our I think we're gonna end up. Yeah, we're gonna end up loading up all the planks we got and all the furniture we have And I actually think We'll be actually pretty good pretty good amount of money away that I might look into See if I could find a self-propelled sprayer I like I, we might actually invest into that a little bit sooner than I originally was planning the other thing I was originally thinking about was Investing into maybe a fourth bin for our bin site so that way we're covered for a while at least on storage space for grain And we probably won't actually have to worry about anything else for a while either and I think the next Plan is that I'm generally thinking right now is that I Think we're gonna buy another piece of land like somewhere far out there and st set up another business adventure I haven't decided yet. It's been something on my mind. I figure with as much money as we're starting to bring in now, we might as well keep expanding our businesses and just hopefully bring out some more people out here to the no man's land. But we'll see what happens in the next next year or so. It's going to... Got so much I want to do, but so little time to do it, so to speak. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.